All right, it is 637 right now. Check this out. A local teacher and her students are presenting their NASA exper experiments at the International Space Development Conference. And that same teacher will fly on a NASA zero gravity flight in August. So joining us right now is Lalitha Morali. She teaches at Glen Hills Middle School and some of her students you can see there front and center. Uh, Miss Lalitha, I definitely want to start with you to just kind of set the scene for us. I'm going to ask you a couple of different questions in one. Where are you right now? Tell us about some of the students we can see right here and what have you guys been doing? I have here three seventh grade students, uh, Elena Johansson, Nola Quinn and uh, Jamison here with me. We are attending the International um, Space Development Conference uh, here in uh, Frisco, Dallas. Uh, for all four days, the students will be um, presenting their project and uh, talking to more than 300 students from uh, all over the world. Uh, so we are having a gala time. The temperature is 70 degrees. Um, what a great way to spend our long weekend. So tell us about some of the experiments uh, that you're going to be uh, trying out here in zero gravity. What are they? So here's the one. So I'm going to ask one of the kids to explain. Go ahead. So this is our first experiment on CO2 redistribution. This is our first experiment on CO2 redistribution. Um, as for the components of our experiment, um, yeah, we have our Arduino. It's made using our Arduino kit and um, like four different CO2 sensors so we can measure where it goes and moves around in microgravity. CO2 is very relevant today because too many or too high of levels can be toxic to humans. That's why, um, especially since the ISS is a closed area, it can be important to know how to regulate those levels. And knowing how it moves around in microgravity is going to hopefully help us uh, figure that out. All so right. This is an experiment that Jameson is going to explain. So basically, it's uh, demonstrating. Uh, so um, this is our uh, electrostatic sensor. This will um, this is going to be used to test uh, Coulomb's law in microgravity, which states that. Um, Opposite charges attract and like charges repel. We uh -huh. want to know if it'll behave the same way in space. I want to ask you, because you said a lot that we're trying to keep up with, <laughs> right? And we're like, this is so cool that you guys are doing this. Tell us about the preparations. Has it been hard just kind of learning about everything? What has this experiment and experience been like for you guys? Um, yeah, so we've been working for a little while, started back in February. Um, we definitely had to work a lot on teamwork and did a lot of problem solving and brainstorming to get to where we are now. Yeah, there was definitely a lot of trial and error. I think that was helpful though in the overall process, um, but we would definitely have to learn how to go back and then figure out if something didn't work. Now you guys are, you guys are, you know, creating these experiments that are gonna go to space. Would any one of you actually wanna go to space one day as an astronaut? I want to send people to space. Yeah. <laughs> that is a lot. Too scary. But yeah, it's like definitely a lot of pressure to be the one up there. Jameson but says no. I'm looking to be a part of the process. <laughs> there are 24 students uh, uh, who participated in this project. Uh, just one of them wanted to go into STEAM, but everybody else wanted to go into STEM field, though, you know. Yep. So that's just the way they fit out. That's really cool, introducing the, them to it very early. Jameson, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. Ms. Morali, right before we go, uh, tell us just how you're feeling about everything. We are feeling, you know, I, um, some of the students have mentioned that as 6th, 7th, and 8th graders, we are designing experiments that's going to help our future astronauts in ISS. What a cool opportunity, you know. So opportunities like these, I am so confident that one day, um, our students are going to be in space. You know, this is Love the it. first generation. I told them that even if you did not go, your grandchildren are going to be there. Yeah. Ah, I love that. They really are. A lot of a lot of experimentation begins up in space. So we appreciate you all being with us this morning. Have a great time down there in Dallas area, Frisco, Texas. Have a great day. Have fun. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.